going on everybody? I'm going to be showing you how to test a car or truck fuel pump today. And this little trick I'm going to be showing you could definitely save you a lot of time and money diagnosing your uh, vehicle fuel problem because the fuel pump is the main component in the fuel system. Figuring out if this piece is working or not working will put you in the direction that you need to fix your vehicle. You definitely do not need to have the gas tank out of the vehicle and that's kind of why I'm making this video because we took it out of this truck and we did not have to. Um, the problem with this is actually the anti-theft. So it was killing power to the fuel pump. And we were like, oh, it's the fuel pump without doing further research. So today I'm going to show you how to verify that your fuel pump is working or not working so you do not run into a similar problem. And the way you do that is with this electrical connector. So with this tank in the truck, all you would have to do is find where this connects and unplug it. And it might be helpful to unplug your fuel line, the one that's going to be pushing the fuel up to the engine, before or after the filter. You can really unplug plug the line anywhere on the car or truck that you want so you can know that the, if the pump is pushing fuel that far and know the lines aren't clogged or the filter isn't clogged or you could just unplug it right at the tank like we have it here however you want and what we're going to do is put power to it here you can use a jump pack you can use an actual car battery or you can even use a battery charger because they're really all emitting 12 volts those are kind of like the hacky ways to do it, like the do-it-yourself ways, but they actually have a power probe, it's called, that is meant for testing things and giving 12 volts. But you don't need that if you don't want to buy it from Snap-on or anything. You can just use your typical jump pack, car battery if you're even less fancy than the jump pack, and I'll show you what you have to do to make this thing shoot fuel. As you see, we have the bucket there already. I have my jump pack here set up with some leads and some probes to get in there so we can test our, our pump here. And all wiring really follows kind of the same color code or very similar. So when you come over to the pump here, it kind of matches up with the red positive, the black negative. There's four wires going into this. Two of them are thicker and the thicker ones most definitely will be our power wires. The, the thinner ones are signals. So we have a black one right off the bat. This wire is straight black. That is gonna be our ground, our negative. And then the thicker pink wire here, red pink, pretty similar, has a black chaser on it or smaller line, is going to be our positive. And those fall crisscross in here. There's just four little metal prongs in there. I'll get a light so you can see that in a second. But four prongs in there, and we're going to crisscross them. And we'll put power to it and ground from our jump pack. Sorry for the terrible lighting. There's obviously really no way to see in there. But what I'm doing now is just putting these in to make it a little bit easier to show you because I can just slide these right over those little metal prongs and it completes the connection. And then we'll just use our, our clippies here, our clippies there, and our probies here, and we'll hook it up, get our rig it. I have this all set up now. As you can see, the black wire is down at the bottom, the pink wire is up top, diagonal, like I said. And then I have these in there, diagonal. The negative wire on the negative. My positive wire is right there. And all you have to do to make this work is go like this. And it shoots fuel. Some dirty fuel for sure. But that's all you do. You just complete it, hands-free. And you don't have to make it hands-free, but I'm holding a camera, so I made it hands-free. But all you really need is these probies and you could have touched them and the thing would have shot off fuel and you'd be like, crap, I took my fuel tank out for no reason because my pump rips. But you might see that your pump doesn't do anything and shoots no fuel, obviously. And then you know, your pump's bad. But this will point you in the direction you need and get the crappy fuel out. Pull it off. Don't want to fry the pump here. I hope this video can help you guys out because if you do it the way I said and test this while it's still in the vehicle, you won't end up like me and realize your pump is good and you don't need to even have the tank out. But you know, it happens, no big deal. So when you do it, 
test it in the car if you can and verify that your pump is good or bad and that will point you really wherever you need to go so make sure to smash that like button guys leave a comment if it did help you out and i will see you all in the next one peace why self life we got london on the track